tell me about Dorothy Stern. No. Now, was this, how did y'all become friends again? Was she an instructor at the she academy? She was an instructor. I was curious about her, and I had finished my first year, and she was such an enigma over there, you know? She, she was such statuesque, and, you know, you were like, who is she, you know? She's just wild. And so I picked enameling because I wanted to get to know her. And so we became really good friends and I would just stay and listen to her and she'd just tell stories of her days in New York City and I just basically became her puppy dog. I just could not get enough of her. And and so I started taking enameling and then she asked me if I would start welding her pieces. And I was like, yeah. So she taught me how to copper weld. And so basically her pieces would be like six or seven pieces. So they'd be welded like a canvas. So copper and the sides and a little bit of a back. And I would get them ready for her from the front and the back and then she'd start firing them. She always fired at one fire. It was amazing because she would slump glass and have the enamel and it was only one fire. I went on. Um, over the years, I graduated, and um, I really wanted to do a book on her life. And when I went to New York, and I would come back, and I would interview her on cassette tapes and just sit at her house and um, make her fake cafe au lait, and she would smoke and <laughs> consistently, and then I would smoke because she would smoke. She'd just, here, smoke one. Okay, oh, sure, I'll do that. And uh, she just would talk about her time with Betty Parsons Gallery and showing with Rothko and Barnett Newman, and and she was in Vogue magazine. I went up into her attic and found all this stuff. I mean, she was, it, it was unbelievable. You the know, real nobody thing. really knew. She was huge. So when she passed away, um, basically, you know, I had all her sketchbooks. And, and these are, and these these are, are all, from, tell me what those were. These were from her sketchbook, and they were from the Depression area in New York City. And these were, like, that was on the, we'd call it Tar Beach, because mm -hmm. when you hung out in New York City, you'd always hang out on the on the tops of the rooftops, and we called it Tar Beach. And this is the book? This is the book. Uh, it was called Cobalt, and uh, Dorothy actually was writing it when she died. And, um, well, that's the... Is that no. the book? Yeah, that's the okay. book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's how you Sorry, open a book. I know it's modern art. It's like <laughs> right. you can do it any way you want to. Yeah. But actually, uh, Dr. Orr, Marcus Orr, ended up finishing uh, because, oh, you know, right. and Bob, my husband, did all the photography. So he Bob over... Bob Carrier. Yeah. Yeah, Bob Carrier. And he spent a year and a half taking... We found all her pieces all over Memphis and Arkansas and New York City, and people would send them to us, and he'd photograph them, and we put out a book. It was Pitt Hyde and Ron Terry backed the book. Oh, wow. And, uh, what they, year? This was when I moved back from uh, New York in 1988. 